Well, hello everybody. I hope you're all well. And this is probably the first new footage I've got since the lockdown started. Here in Northern Ireland, at this particular point, the lockdown is lifted enough that we are allowed out for vermin control and target shooting. So I'm taking the advantage and heading out to a new permission that I've been given to try and uh, red up some rabbits. Now this is my first night here and I'm setting up in a paddock and a small field in front of the main farmhouse. But there's also one or two fields behind me that the farmer's hoping to reseed later in the year and he's wanting the rabbits removed from them before he starts. So I should be able to get a few nights footage and uh, quite a few rabbits from here. Now I probably should have got a wee bit closer to the rabbit warren as the rabbits are emerging from about 50 to just over 60 yards. But there's the odd rabbit appearing to my right hand side and if I move any further forward I'll be shooting back towards the farmhouse and I didn't like that idea so here I'll have to stay. But you'll see as the night goes on I took shots from anywhere as close as 8 yards out to just over 60. Unfortunately some of the longer range shots were a bit messy and needed a follow up shot as I was fighting with the wind but I thankfully accounted for every rabbit I hit. So let's get on with it, less gabbing, more shooting. So for the first shot I aimed a little to the left to allow for the wind and missed. So with the second shot I aimed dead on thinking the wind isn't affecting the pellet as much as I thought and missed again. And then the rabbit decided that it had enough and hopped away. Times like these you start to wonder what am I doing wrong? Is the gun knocked off zero or is my shooting that bad I couldn't hit the broadside of a barn anyway? I'm using the JSB Hades pellets and although I've put the time in on the range from 30 out to 100 yards testing the dope on my ballistic calculator it's surprising when the conditions are right how good a grip you can get out to 65-70 yards but if there's a breeze blowing things start to get a bit inconsistent and it's not just the Hades pellets the 18 grains do the same or any air gun pellet and that's what I'm suffering with at the minute but I spot a larger rabbit at a closer range, 48 yards, and have a go at it. Now that's more like it. The gear I'm using tonight is a Pard MV019 spotter, Bushnell uh, Scout 1000 rangefinder, Strolloc Pro uh, ballistic calculator on my phone, my FX uh, Crown 0.22 FAC, with the Bushnell Tactical Elite 2.5 to 16 by 42 scope, the run cam for day footage, and a powered MV007 night vision add on, and a set of Vanguard Quest shooting sticks, which uh, was on sale until I realised everybody had them on sale at roughly the same price. But I like the 360 degree rotation yoke on the top of it which I thought would be useful when lamping foxes at night as it's something I can't easily replicate with my homemade shooting sticks. Sorry if I'm rambling on here but if I don't mention what I'm using now I'll have umpteen different questions in the comments box later. Now this is where things started to go a little pear shape for me. The first shot obviously hit the rabbit, but not in the brain. I managed to get a second shot off into the body. And when the rabbit settled, I finished it. Though I'm ashamed to say it took more than the three shots you saw here, but thankfully I did account for the rabbit. I just missed to the right, so I allowed half a mil dot on 6 par to the left for the wind. 
and got a good solid contact with the head. Oh, he just moved his head at the right moment. So again, I allow half a mil dot to the left for the wind. And you can see the grass move at almost a full mil dot. The wind's picked up. But I got him with a third shot. Just spotted another rabbit. It's about 20 yards to my right. So I'm going to have to be very careful when I move. Oops, he spotted me. And he's off. Just, just take the shot. Don't worry about focus. No, 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 no. I'm a professional YouTuber. I must focus for my viewers. You're going to lose it. No, must focus. Compelling instinct too great. You lucky sod you. At least I had no problem with wind drift in that shot. Spot another youngish rabbit at about 48 yards again. Now he's probably about 45. Allow a wee bit for wind. And down he goes, no problem at all. While I was, well let's say, water in the bushes, I spot another rabbit up to the right again. Couldn't shoot him from where I was, so I took the rifle and the tripod to see if I could get a better angle at him. It's about 25 yards away. And again, no problem with the wind at this range. Spotted another rabbit to my extreme left this time. Don't know where it came from, I just turned round and there it was. It's about 25 yards, so another dead on hold. Oh, where did he go? Ah, oh, there he is there. It's starting to get darker now, so I decided to switch to the PARD MV019 to see what sort of footage I could get with it. And even without the IR on, you really do get a bright, colourful picture at this time of night. I switched to the night vision mode and then turned the IR on to get a wee bit of a comparable footage. I know these young rabbits are only about 22 yards away, but they still stand out rightly. Yes, I know there's people furiously typing in the comments, shoot them, shoot them. Well, I guess I'm just too soft hearted to knowingly shoot baby rabbits. Though, realising at the end of the night, most of the rabbits I had been shooting in the long grass were not too much bigger than these ones, so call me a hypocrite. Spotted another rabbit to my left. It is about 35 to 40 yards away. And you can see the run cam is really at the limit of its ability in this sort of light condition. Where the MV007 is still on colour mode. It's 
It's near 12 o'clock now and the night's really closed in. So I decided to have another scan with a powered MV019 to see what was about. Still haven't the AIR switched on yet, but there's still a really good image. Oh, what's this? That's a rabbit sitting about 8 yards off my feet. Well, 7, I've got quite big feet. Gonna have to do something about that. But whether he'll still be there by the time I move the gun into position is another thing. So here we go, gently gently, catchy monkey, or rabbit in this case. Still haven't the IR switched on in the Prad, but it's in night vision mode now. I'll give a little hold over to allow for the short range. And down it goes. One useful tip, don't mount something in front of your IR. As I found out here, the run cam was causing that much of a flashback, I couldn't see a blessed thing. But, it got that dark, the run cam was no use anymore, so I easily removed it. Looks like our three little rabbits are still about. Or four. Either that or one's got two heads. Dear Hunter's Vermin, don't be such a big softy and shoot the baby rabbits. Looks like the two headed baby rabbit and his mates are the only things out at the minute. So I decided to stand up and have a look with the MV to see what else might be about once I figured out where to set the rifle without putting it down into cow clabber that is. Ah, there is another rabbit out. I couldn't see him sitting down because of the bank, so I came back, got the rifle and the tripod, managed to sneak up to the bank so I could get a shot over it at him, and this is where things really went to pot. First shot looked good on camera, but the rabbit took off. Managed to get a second shot into the body. Wasn't good, but I hoped it would anchor the rabbit. Then had to climb into the field after it. I hate situations like this. But thankfully, I managed to get a final shot into the vitals and finish the job. Well, this was the total tally at the end of the night. And the farmer was quite pleased. Even though some of the long range marksmanship was more dumb luck than marksmanship. But at least I managed and very thankfully accounted for every rabbit I hit. Even if it took more than one shot to do it.